In this video I'll explain how to convert a matrix to a list of column vectors using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the matrix that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data matrix is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this matrix, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our example matrix. And as you can see, our matrix contains five rows and three columns, which are called V1, V2, and V3. And each of these columns contains numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to split this matrix into a list, whereby each of the list elements contains one of our columns as column vector. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 4 to 6. And in these lines of code, I'm using a combination of the split function, the rep function, the nCall function, and the nRow function. So if you run lines 4 to 6 of the code, you can see that a new list object is created at the top right of RStudio, which is called myList1. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our list contains three list elements, whereby each of these list elements contains a numeric vector, which contains the same values as the corresponding column in our matrix. So the first list element contains the values that were stored in the first column of our data matrix. The second list element contains the values of the second column and the third list element contains the values of the third column of our matrix. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the functions split, rep, nCall, and nRow to split our matrix into a list. However, it's also possible to use the lapply function in combination with the seeklen function, the nCall function, and a user-defined function, as you can see in lines 9 and 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that another list is appearing at the top right, which is called myList2. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another list object, which contains the same values as the first list that we have created before. However, this time we have used different functions compared to the first example. So whether you want to use the functions of the first example or of the second example is a matter of taste and I will provide all the code that I have used in this tutorial in the description of the video. So in this video I have explained how to convert a matrix to a list of column vectors using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.